Next, let's introduce you the notation used in our one-way ANOVA model. The response variable of interest is x. And let x be the marriage length before divorce. When I have i population and j replications. Here the j replication is what? Here we have what i population. i population in our example is first population is a population of couples. They're about their first marriage. Second population, we look at the couple of their second marriage. And population three are for the couples of their third marriage. Marriages, okay? And J replications. In our example, J equal to five, okay? Five replication. That means doesn't matter if it's a first marriage, second marriage, or third marriage. We all have what? Five replication. That is, we all have five couples involved in our study for each population. So now, a simple random sample drawn for population one, denoted by x11, x12, x13, all the way up to x1j. Okay? First index one, that means what? That means they are first marriage. The first couple, second index, the first couple of the first marriage. This one, the second couple of their first marriage. This one, the third couple of their first marriage, and so on and so forth, okay? Now, simple random sample from population two. This is what? The first couple of their what? Hmm? Second marriage. And this is the second couple, we observe how long they last for their second marriage. And this is the third couple, how long they last for their second marriage. And how about the third one? A simple random sample drawn from population three. That is, we look at the first couple. We observe the first couple of their third one, third marriage. Okay? And remember, as I say, these three simple random samples are, are independent. That means this couple has nothing to do with this couple, has nothing to do with this couple, or any couple in what? These two first what? Simple random sample. Okay? Now let's review the concept again, the notation again. This is the first couple we observe how long they last for their what? Their third marriage. Okay? Now, for s s the third simple random sample for population three, okay? For the simple random sample draw for population three, we look at the first couple, how long they last for their third marriage, and this is what? The second couple, how long they last for their third marriage. And all the way up to what? The fifth couple, how long they last for what? Their third marriage. So now let's look at a generalization. We can say this is a simple random sample from what? Population I. Okay? And we have J replications. That means J couple and for their what? I's marriage. But I don't think I is very big, okay? So I don't think you can find so many people they divorce for I times if I is really big, okay? Now, in our example, I is three, okay? And J is what? Five. That means is we have first marriage, second marriage, and third marriage. And J is what? J is replication of each one, each group. For the first group, people, we observe their first marriage. How long they last for their first marriage? We have five observations. For second group, we observe how long people last for their second marriage. And what? And observation, also what? Equal to five. And for the third group of people, we look at how long they last for their third marriage. And how many couples involved? Also five. And remember, since they are independent, three simple random sample are independent. That means first five has nothing to do with what? Second five or third five. Okay? Keep that in mind. 
Now let's look at the data and come with what? The notation used. Now, the first ma ma marriage, x11, x12, x13, x14, x15, okay? And first marriage for the first couple lasts for 8.5 years. Second couple lasts for nine years for their first marriage. Third couple lasts for 6.75 years for their one first marriage. And the fourth couple lasts 8.5 years for their first marriage. And the, the fifth observation, the fifth couple in our first group is what? 9.5 years for their first marriage. And look at here. For second group of people, we also have five replication. Okay? And this five has nothing to do with this five. So it's not this couple they ob we observe for their one. A second marriage. This one is different one from this one, okay? And also different from any of these five. That's why we call they are independent, okay? Now, X21 is for first couple in what? In second group, we have the first couple. They last for what? 7.5 years for their second marriage. Same thing, the third group, we also have five observations. And in the third group, this is a group that people are, have the third marriage. And how long they last? For the first couple we have in our data set, they last for 2.75 years, okay? And now, X1 bar is the average marriage length before divorce of the first marriages. X2 bar is the average marriage length before what? Divorce of second marriages. X3 bar is the average marriage before, before what? Average marriage length before their divorce of their third marriages. Okay? These are all sample means. These are the sample means for first population. This is a sample mean for second population. This is a sample mean for third population. 